sometimes we say in the UK, it can really kick you in the nuts sometimes. And when you're laying in bed in London at 11 o'clock on Monday night, and you get a call to say that Tyrone Spong has failed a drug test and he's out of the fight, you really have to think quickly. I want to thank Eric Botcher particularly for staying up as late as I did that night to make sure that we got this made. I want to thank Egis and Alex as well for, for being available and dealing with this situation because the truth is, is that if you don't deal with that situation at the right time, you stand a very good chance of there being no show on Saturday night. And you have to go back to a fighter and let him know that unfortunately the show is off. Luckily you have people who stay ready in boxing, you have people who are willing to take the opportunity and we want to say a special thank you to Chaz Witherspoon because he was the guy who stepped up to take this opportunity on Saturday night. Chaz Witherspoon, undefeated I think for six years now, has been looking for a major opportunity like this and we've been in discussions with him over the last couple of years to fight Dillian Wyatt, to fight Gassiev, to fight Chisora, to fight all these heavyweights and now he gets his opportunity at late notice but he has his opportunity and with a great trainer like Tommy Brooks and a great team around him he has an opportunity like another heavyweight who came in at late notice to completely change the division and change his life on the other hand you have one of the all-time legends of the cruiserweight division in Alexander Lusik a guy who we are so happy and proud to work with with K2 Promotions and Aegis we had him to the UK Unfortunately, he beat one of my best friends in Tony Bellew, which was a, one of the great nights that we've witnessed in British boxing. Now he moved up, moves up to the heavyweight division. Alexander Usyk is now the mandatory challenger for the winner of Joshua against Ruiz for the WBO World Heavyweight title. So the pressure is all there on him, not just to make sure that he wins on Saturday, to maintain that mandatory position, but of course the world watching on. Can he deal with the big guys? Can he compete in the heavyweight division? and we cannot wait to witness it. And firstly, from the Chad Spoon team, I want to bring up, as I said, legendary trainer, Tommy Brooks. Thank you. Uh, as everybody knows, or some people know, I've been fortunate to work with a number of world champions. Uh, this particular fight takes me back to one where somebody mentioned Holyfield earlier. Uh, Holyfield was going to fight Mike Tyson. Nobody gave him a snowball chance in the world of beating Mike Tyson. But well, what happened, if you remember? Both fights. Same thing I'm looking for in this fight. Thank you, Tommy. And, and again, this man was ready. He was ready. He was looking for a big heavyweight fight. What an opportunity for him on Saturday night. Ladies and gentlemen, big round of applause for Chaz Witherspoon. How's everybody doing? Uh, I'm not gonna be too long, um, but I do like to thank uh, Mr. Eddie Hearn, The Zone, and Mr. Eric Bodger, you know, for giving me the nod and giving me the call. And um, I was willing to step up and accept the challenge. So I appreciate them for giving me that opportunity. I also wanna thank my team, uh, I have a strong support team around me. And I, somebody was telling me some stuff on the internet but about you know, how I would get this opportunity. I actually have a strong team around me. You know, my mother and my father, my trainers, Mr. Brooks, uh, Wade and Randy Hennett, um, my business manager, Chris Highlander, you know, my partners with Silver School Promotion, Chris and Missy, um, my brother, sister. I have family, but I have people also around me that doesn't, they, they don't share the same last name that I have, but they're good people people I can trust. And that's what allowed me to get to this uh, position that I'm in. You know, I was able to take the call because I'm not with a big time promoter, so it's no red tape to get to me. And I have been talking with, with uh, Mr. Hearn and they've been offering me different fights and um, I'm at a point in my career where it makes sense for me to step up and take a challenge like this. Um, you know, it's just, if I forgot anybody on my team, my strength and conditioning guy, John Countess, my cousin Rob, Uncle Brian, Uncle Walt. Um, I just have a lot of good people around me, but to this, this is a great opportunity. Um, opportunity does only knock every once in a while. And when that opportunity knocks, you have to open the door and say, who is it? You know, so this is my opportunity. Um, I opened the door and I accepted the challenge. Um, to my uh, opponent, Mr. Usyk and his team, uh, I have nothing but the utmost respect for them. Uh, he's a, a skillful fighter, 
uh, great champion, has all the accolades in the world. So I have nothing bad to say about him. He actually had really great fans. Um, I want to just give a shout out to his fans because they come up and they take a picture and do an autograph. Everybody's respectful. So I'm um, looking to put on a good performance. Um, I'm not the guy that's going to get up here and say anything crazy or outlandish or, or act a fool uh, to, to do anything like that. But I am the guy, I can say this, I'm the guy that's going to show up to rumble. You know, I'm not scared. If you're scared, you're in the wrong sport of boxing. All boxers know that you can't be scared. Your heart can't pump no Kool-Aid, for lack of better words. And my heart don't pump Kool-Aid. So um, I'm here, I'm ready to fight. Uh, I, I thank them for giving me the opportunity. And uh, I'm somebody that's willing to come in and mix it up. I'm the bigger guy. I'm willing to come in and mix it up and anything can happen. You know, one time in my life I did, I, I mean, I made history one time in my life. I was the only guy, I guess, to have all stoppages in the, in the National Gold Glove title. I'm the only person in history to have all stoppages too. So I've, Lightning struck one time in my life so far. I don't know if it can strike twice, but that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for lightning to strike twice. I'm here to rumble, so if y'all want to see a good fight, come out Saturday night, because uh, I'm coming to rumble. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you, Jazz. Great words. And this is a crazy sport where, like you said, opportunity knocks at the time when you least expect it. Uh, we're going to move now to the team of